The Ackies, a Scottish Premiership team whose recent league finishes far exceed the decades gone by. Just check out this graph of their league finishes over time. In their early pre-World War II days, they were pretty good and spent the vast majority of their time in and around the top tier of Scottish football. Post-World War II, they fell on tougher times and uh, yeah, as you can see, they've only spent a handful of seasons in the top division with a majority of the post-war period being spent in tiers two, three, and sometimes even four. However, that all changed in the 2000s, and uh, the Ackies for the majority of this century have been a top tier club. In this video, we'll dive into the entire history of the Ackies, Hamilton Academical Football Club. And yeah, it's one of my most uh, requested videos at the moment, so thanks to everyone who has uh, dropped a comment recently and has requested that I come and finally cover Hamilton Academical FC. And yeah, as is usually the case with these videos, I like to show you what the teams are doing right now. We will be going to explore their old stadium just shortly, as well as their new stadium, uh, the current stadium, Hamilton anyway. And yeah, but I'll load up today's sponsor, OneFootball, to show you how Hamilton are doing this season. Yeah, One Football is the first link in the description box below and I can't recommend it highly enough if you're looking for a football app. It's completely free and it supports my channel and it's the first link in the description box below. But yeah, as is on screen just now, look, you can see Hamilton Academical 12th in the Scottish Premiership. So, you know, they are one of the best teams in the country being in the top division, but look at them. They're on 20 points. Um, the team above them are on 23 there, Ross County. And yeah, although they're a couple of wins away from safety, they have played a couple of games less than everyone else. There have been a few postponements, I'd imagine, of their games due to either the current situation or the weather. So yeah, they're, you know, a well-respected team here in Scotland. They are in the Premiership. However, yes, they are in bad form. As you can see from this screen currently, they drew at, Rangers, uh, drew at home to Rangers in their last game they lost against Ross County before that and Celtic drew against Dundee and you'd have to go back till the 2nd of January to when they last won a game where they beat their close rivals Motherwell in the Lanarkshire Derby but yeah please do go down to the first link in the description box below and download one football it's a top quality app you can star teams like Hamilton make them your favorites and get all push notifications on whenever anything happens related to that club so yeah thank you very much <laughs> some of my videos have been lately I mean spring is just around the corner and I hope the weather does start to improve but yes it's very snowy at the moment as you can see look how far my feet are going in absolutely mad but yes um, kind of adds a different element to the videos when there's a bit of snow anyway as their name suggests Hamilton Academical Football Club there are links to the Hamilton Academy and academia in general I'm just over the road currently from Hamilton College I'm not sure if Hamilton College is uh, connected to Hamilton Academy in any way but yeah it would have been you know somewhere around here in a college or a school or a university that the club was originally formed the rector and pupils of the local school Hamilton Academy formed a football team in 18 74 so that makes them older than Celtic yeah a very old historic club here in Scotland Hamilton and yeah they would have been somewhere in the town that that Academy would have stood I've tried googling the Academy but the best I can do is Hamilton College and uh, yeah I'm not sure if the Academy itself is still around whether it's been renamed over the years of course it was hundreds of years ago now that they originally formed the club so yeah I don't know if it's still around in its current form or not college aside though the club was formed and they joined the SFA back in the 1800s and they competed in some of the earliest editions of the Scotland Scottish Cup and the qualifying cup. The majority of their early games before this though would have been friendlies and like localized tournaments. I mentioned this in my Renton video which I will link below but Renton folded in 1897 meaning there was a place up for grabs in the Scottish Football League. The Scottish Football League was
was formed in 1890 and Hamilton were the chosen team once Renton folded there was a place up for grabs in the league and yes Hamilton applied and Hamilton were the ones given access to the league system and where they've been ever since from 1897 all the way till now 2021 yeah the league was formed in 1890 Hamilton were brought in in 1897 so it took about seven years for them to uh, be accepted into the league system Right, and so as we're almost round to the stadium here, as you saw from the sign just there, uh, I'll tell you a little bit more about their early history. So in 1904, um, they were in the second division of Scottish football. They won that, the second tier, but much like St. Bernard's in my St. Bernard's vid, again, if you haven't seen that, I'll link it down below in the description box. Much like against St. Bernard's, they, uh, they didn't get promoted when they won the league. They had to still get invited in, even though they won the division below. There wasn't automatic promotion back then. So yeah, they were denied. They'd eventually reached the top tier, but in 1911, they reached the Scottish Cup final. They got there again in 1935 as well, and they must be sick to the back teeth of the old firm. In their first cu uh, cup final, they lost to Celtic. In the second, they lost to Rangers. So yeah, two cup finals, two losses, unfortunately, for the Ackies. As here we are, look, I'm at the stadium now. New Douglas Park. But yeah, arguably the club's best period was the 1930s. They had regular finishes at the top of kind of the league at that point, top six, I guess. They used to finish in quite a lot. And it was at this point that one of their best ever players played for the club, David Wilson. He was an Englishman who scored almost 250 league goals for Ackies whilst his, uh, during his time at the club here. And uh, yeah, his career, his football career was sadly cut short by the event of World War II. And check this out. I think they're playing tomorrow against Motherwell. They're big rivals. And they're training in there, look at that. Right, so the stadium behind me, I'm just gonna come up this snowy hill and hope I don't slip to my death. And yeah, get a bit of a vantage point of the stadium while I tell you a little bit more about them. After World War II, the leagues were restructured and Hamilton had to start again in the second tier of Scottish football. They gained promotion in 53 and 65, but both times they got relegated straight away at the first time of asking in their first season back in the top tier. And this fact is amazing. I found it out off the Hamilton Academical FC website. The club were the first club in Britain to have hired players from behind the Iron Curtain. The Iron Curtain being the ideological barrier between the communist closed off states of the East and the capitalist, more freer states of the West, I guess you could say. So yeah, cool to think that Hamilton Ackies were the first team to hire players from that part of the world. Always nice to see football bringing cultures together, isn't it? They got promoted a few times in the 80s, but again, struggled when they got to the top tier, getting relegated straight again after just one year. New ground regulations meant that they had to vacate their old ground, Douglas Park. It had been their home since 1888, and yeah, in 1994, they were told that they had to leave because of the new regulations that grounds needed to have. They had to wait seven years to get a new home, which is now here, New Douglas Park. But in the meantime, they had to play at Partick Thistle and at Albion Rovers. Two relegations followed, and this was a really low period for the club. And yeah, this is now the ex-home of Hamilton, where their first ground was, Douglas Park. Now there is New Douglas Park and as you can see just above Iceland B&M and Home Bargains the floodlights it is in very close proximity from where they were to where they moved but yeah seven years they were away where they played at Partick Thistle and um, and Albion Rovers so yeah you can still see the floodlights from where their old stadium used to be but yeah let's get back to their current ground New Douglas Park anyway yeah as we move into the 2000s and uh, and Hamilton moved into their new stadium where they played Sunderland in the opening game in a friendly. They rose back through the divisions in the 2000s and by 2007 slash 2008, they'd won the second tier and returned to the top flight once again. Young players like James MacArthur and James McCarthy were instrumental in the success of this modern Aki's side. The club started life well in the SPL, topping the table in the first two weeks of the campaign when they first got back in. And yeah, they won three of their first five games. They would go on to finish nine and ended up staying up that season, meaning it would be their second consecutive season in the top flight for 70 years. And yeah, look at this from up here. You can see right in that is a uh, players are training down there where obviously they've cleared some of the snow from the pitch. And yeah, I could see in through a gate just over there. But yeah, look, you can see right into the pitch from here. And what a lovely sunny day. It's been, um, weather's been obviously 
bit snowy lately but it's actually been quite sunny the past few days and it's made for some lovely vlogging conditions so yeah just look at that a lovely blue sunny day but yeah that's the best I can do for now I did ask if I could go inside there's a few people knocking about because of the players training but said I couldn't come in but I have been in before so again I'll leave a link to that video down below and yeah now of course they do play here as you can see New Douglas Park at their more modern stadium with uh, yeah their 3G all weather in inverted commas pitch um, of course yeah you don't have to have grass pitches up here in Scotland you can have those artificial turfs and Hamilton is one of those stadiums that does and they're in a the top flight so what other countries around the world top flight stadiums have uh, plastic pitches I guess it's more of the winter ones isn't it I think Iceland basically the whole league do I'm pretty sure um, any others let me know below I'd love to know now it wouldn't be a Hamilton video if I didn't mention the fraud that happened in 2017 I'm now into the modern era and I can't not go into it but yeah I'll quickly just read out what I could find online so in October 2017 an elaborate voice fishing fraud was uh, perpetrated on Hamilton Academical posing as a fraud investigator for the club's bank the Royal Bank of Scotland the culprit convinced the club's account handler that funds were at risk risk from corruption within the company and should be moved temporarily providing instructions to evade suspicion in the bank's genuine checks when monies began to be transferred the account handler spoke also to an accomplice blah 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 with the employees sufficiently deceived a total close to one million pounds was transferred out of the club's accounts over several transactions with the fraud being discovered the following day the incident involved most of the club's working funds causing the abandonment of a project to improve the youth facility in february 2018 having only been able to recover a small percentage of the funds hamilton publicly declared that they were preparing to take legal action against the bank for a portion of the loss believing that the bank's security measures to have been inadequate in detecting the fraud yeah basically and uh it also says here that the chief executive of the Aki's colin mcgowan later described rbs royal bank of scotland as morally corrupt so yes a phishing email basically or a phishing voice a uh, fishing phone call or whatever was uh, done to Hamilton and whoever it was at the club fell for it and they transferred millions or like a million pounds to uh, fake accounts that the Royal Bank of Scotland didn't pick up on and uh, yeah they had to abandon a youth development scheme that was going on at the time. Controversy aside though the Ackies went down again in 2010 2011 but in 2014 they came back up winning the playoff against Hibs they won a penalty shootout I think it was at Easter Road so it was at Hibs Stadium and yeah they came back up to the top division in 2014 where they've been ever since it's now of course 2021 so seven odd years they've been in the top tier after all that time when they couldn't stay in the top tier for ages every time they got promoted they got relegated again they finally made it back in and then now they've been here for yeah seven years in 2018 the club took place in the UEFA Youth League for under 19 players showing how far the academy has come they got a really good well-run academy here apparently Hamilton and yes the fact that they were invited into the UEFA Youth League that just says it all doesn't it quality stuff and what a great club I do really like Hamilton like I said I've been here before that was when I was visiting half of the Premiership in the day back in I think August or September back uh, towards the end of last summer <laughs> what I do to be back then I thought things were restricted then but um, things were a lot easier I actually was able to come in and watch the players train during that video I didn't go as extensively into the history of Hamilton that day as I've done today but yeah it's still a fun video I enjoyed filming it also went to Celtic Rangers Motherwell Killy and St Mirren that day so yeah I went to six stadiums got inside two one of them was here at Hamilton but yeah currently I did ask if I could go in not allowed of course but I am allowed to film because it's my job so yes please do remember to hit that like button and subscribe if you aren't already you're not going to want to miss out on any content please do also download one football is the first link in the description box below from me here at Hamilton I will leave some videos around my head so you can keep watching my content hopefully I can get inside here one day soon again thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one